What's up, dude and dudettes? I want to talk about a movie that me and my girlfriend just saw. Uh, we went out and we watched Ant-Man and Wasp, uh, Quantumania. Now, I'm going to just say real quick that there are spoilers in, uh, <laughs> in this video. So, if you don't want any spoilers, click out right now. I'll give you a second. Bop, bop, bop. Okay, cool. So, I'm just going to be completely honest. Marvel fucking sucks right now. I don't know who is writing their movies. I don't know what the fuck they're doing, but it is just absolutely god awful. Now, I'm not going to start off by just talking about the cons because you have to admire things in order to dislike them. You have to like be like, okay, this person did this, but I mean, they also did this and you don't have, I'm, let me rephrase that. You don't have to, but that's personally what I like to do. And um, I got to say, I did like three things, uh, or four things, sorry. Um, number one, I loved Scott Lang, uh, Paul Rudd, love all of Paul Rudd's work. Fucking great actor. He's really funny. I love every scene that he's in for the most part, um, except for more near, near the end. Not going to lie. Didn't really like a lot of that. Uh, second person or second thing that I liked is I liked Hank. Hank was a pretty cool character, except for a little bit in the beginning. Didn't really like that. Um, and the third one is I loved Kang. Kang was amazing throughout the entire movie. I was very captivated by him. I don't know who acts as him. I'll have to figure that out here in a little bit. I, I literally watched the movie. We went to go pick up food. We are eating Taco Bell tonight. I know. What a romantic. And then we just came right back. And I've been ranting to my girlfriend this entire time. So I figure I'm going to start making a video on it. And hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as she didn't. And then the fourth thing I really liked was the scenery. I know a lot of people aren't really interested in the artwork and the CGI and things like that in movies, but this movie was very beautiful. I will wholeheartedly say that. It is very remarkable. Um, a lot of the scenes are just very pretty. Uh, I, I really enjoyed just looking around, seeing all the unique things, especially when I talk about timelines. Uh, there's, and I will say the movie is very confusing unless you have watched Loki. So I do recommend you watch the show Loki, which is another thing I kind of want to talk about, but those are the things that I really liked about the movie. Now we're going to talk about the things I didn't like. The biggest pet peeve I had was Scott's daughter, Cassie. I hated Cassie. Every single scene Cassie was in, I was out of it, except for the very first scene, because the first scene you catch her in jail. Um, and I like that because it's like, oh, like father, like daughter, they'd put that little reference in there. And that's probably the most that they watched about their own fucking movies. And I know that sounds stupid, but I really don't think the Marvel creators watch their own movies. And I'll talk about that here in a little bit, but I want to continue focusing on Cassie. So Cassie thought the entire movie is, I don't really know about like, I want to say 17, 18, 19, teenager age, almost entering adulthood. And she is just a complete dickhead. And it feels like they wrote her that way, which is awesome if you want a shitty character to not like at all. And if you want that, then by all means, Cassie's the character to love. Um, she doesn't listen. She's extremely naive. She gets caught in jail and then blames her dad for not doing anything. Yeah, that's right. In the beginning of the movie, everyone blames Scott for not doing anything, even though he saved the fucking galaxy. If it wasn't for Scott, then all of Endgame wouldn't have happened because they wouldn't know what to do. Scott was the one that talked about quantum travel or quantum, whatever the fuck, the quantum realm, shit like that. And then, and then they fucking did it. <laughs> that's the only, and then him and Iron Man, kind of the only two people that really put the whole thing together. Iron Man figured it out, but Scott had to talk about it and then boom. You know, and you can't deny it because that's exactly how it happened in your face. Shut up. Um, but so Cassie does, just forgets all about that, forgets the fact that everyone uh, was saved by her father and says, you don't do anything. You don't do anything in the beginning of the movie. They're just all shitting on him. And I don't get it. Everyone but the rest of the world. They're like, where are these doing stuff? Where are these doing stuff? And like Cassie literally almost killed their whole family literally almost killed their whole family it just uh, i don't like cassie i think they wrote her like an idiot i don't like any of her lines i i hate how she doesn't listen to her father she constantly is putting her life and everyone else at danger she only does one cool thing but she does it very cringy i just i don't know what the fuck they were doing but um it was not for me so cassie is a problem that i didn't like during the movie um another issue that i think in this movie and I will, I will say it is definitely worth a watch. I think it's okay. Um, compared to a lot of other movies. Okay. 
Maybe maybe it's just weird for me. So I had to configure my video for a second. Um, I got to get a better webcam <laughs> if I'm going to do videos where it's specifically me talking. So I apologize for that. But another thing that I didn't like about the uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania movie is I really feel like Marvel just tries to do in like everything all at once. Like they try to add all of these characters. They try to put in this deep in-depth story, which they have created a big story. They have created a large um, tale, if you will, like a huge universe that just keeps growing and fucking growing and growing. Um, but they don't give enough screen time to give a lot of backstory and a lot of like history to what happened. So a big thing that I really acknowledge about the movie is the quantum realm. So you see the quantum realm about four or five times, I think throughout the movies you see as a little bit in Endgame, or I guess, yeah. So you have Ant-Man one, you where uh, Scott goes in by himself, goes in for a couple seconds, it's all black, okay? What the fuck? Doesn't make any sense. Really, really kind of scary, kind of builds that creepy atmosphere. You have Ant-Man and the Wasp, they go to rescue... Uh, fuck they're the mom i forget what the fuck her name is and you know you see it it's actually a world this time um with a lot more in depth into it with a lot more depth sorry depth to it and then oh i guess you see it four times and then you see it quantum mania and then that's when the whole movie takes place is a whole fucking galaxy whole universe whatever and then they tell you that it's a whole universe it's a whole galaxy that's what it is uh, the quantum realm, it's just a bunch of shit, and it's like, oh, okay, that's cool, but why didn't Scott ever see it? He saw nothing. They don't ever talk about that, and I, I don't understand, it, and I know it's like a small detail, but how much harder would it be for them to make like an extra 10 minutes onto a movie to actually explain how the quantum realm works? They explain it for like, fuck, a minute, like she talks about it for like a minute, but they live in it. It's like it's its own world. It, it's their like it's a sp space in between dimensions, in between in between time that takes place in its own realm. So like, I, I don't fucking know. And then nothing gets older while they're in the quantum realm this time. Like what? They're probably in the quantum realm for like a fucking day. And it like Scott was in there for a couple hours, and the snap happened. And it was like, what, four years? He, I, they don't watch their own movies. And I feel like it fucking shows. I don't know. It's just, it's a, it's a big thing for me. One last pet peeve I have with it is they take villains. And this is just with Marvel in general. I don't really like what they're doing with their villains. Because what I feel like Marvel does is they take like pretty A tier villains, like um, for example, Ultron, uh, Thanos kind of, I think Thanos got a good use out of him. Um, like Doc Ock, things like that. <clears throat> Sorry. Things like that. And then they put him in a movie and then they kill him off. I don't know why they do that. I feel like it wastes a lot of time and it wastes a lot of like hype that you could do with the, or Carnage is a fucking amazing example. Carnage is gone and you are never going to be able to use Carnage again. Unless you go with a multiverse theory, which could be cool. You could hype them all up. Awesome. Dope. Great. Or you could just not kill them off. You could find a way to end Carnage on a way where he can continue to come. But for this example, I'm talking about in the movie, there is, and again, I talked about spoilers. There's MODOK. Okay. MODOK like, comes by. He's actually Darren or Derek from, he's Yellow Jacket from the first movie. Cool, I like it. it, is Modoc. I fucking called it in the theater and it was super hype. And they kill him. Like, fucking immediately. And what's even worse than that is they made him a fucking laughing stock. Why? Like, Marvel, what the fuck, dude? Like, seriously, dude? You don't need to be funny all the time. You need to pick a fucking lane. You can't, like, uh, is this, is, are you trying to be funny or are you trying to be serious? Are you trying to make me invested into this universe? I'm sorry, my claws are fucking crooked and it's pressing me so much. I need new ones. Are you trying to invest me into this fantastic, like, galaxy, this universe of, like, Marvel movies that are either hilarious or are you trying to make them serious? Like, pick a fucking lane, dude. Like, if, if, if you want to portray 
villains in a way where we're like, oh my God, that's actually scary. Or, oh my God, they're actually like hilarious. Like, I don't know. If you're trying to do one or the other, make it one or the other. Don't have like Modok, who is a serious villain. He is a kind of like a laughing stock villain. I mean, you can laugh at him, but he is also like super fucking powerful. And he has at one point in time killed the Avengers before be beaten by bugs what what dude what like cassie doesn't know how to fight but he just she beats modok i don't it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense and the entire movie he's just like someone you just laugh at and it just it, it doesn't make any sense um yeah uh i'm sorry i said last thing but this is the final thing Another thing that's kind of pissed me off about these movies, they, the fucking untrained characters will beat the trained characters nine times out of ten. Sorry, 90% of the time, actually. Not even nine times out of ten, because that's, that's just, that's still too low. That's still too fucking low. You, Kang had an army of people, army of units, but the, re, the, re, the, re, the, re, the, re, the rebellion kicked their fucking ass. What? Cassie beat up so many of them when she had no idea how to fight. I was just... I was done. I was done. I don't know. If I had to rate the movie, 6 out of 10. But when Paul Rudd and Hank were on the screen, 8 out of 10. I loved him. Or in Kang. Kang was very fucking captivating. And I'm really excited to see what they do. Sorry. Fucking... I need it. Like I said, I need a better mount for my camera. But... I'm excited to see what they do with the movie, uh, the series with Kang, um, but I'm not liking, I'm only going to watch the movies because they're Marvel movies and I'm excited to see what they do, but they need to change the writers because they fucking suck. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If not, just understand these are my opinions. I like them. This is my channel. I will make whatever I want. And I am thinking about making more towards commentary videos, talking about things. So if you would like to see that, let me know. But um, yeah. Also, don't forget to check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash discomaniac. I stream like every day right now. And I got accepted in the college. So computer information sciences person is going to get in there and hopefully develop, go into code and game development. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Eat my butt.